Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome to Epic Tavern. Epic Tavern is a new game in early access. It's a party management and tavern management game. And we're going to give it a go. See how we do. So let's just destroy my last game and start a brand. Brand's making a new one. And we're going to have to find a good name. Could type in my own one, but I like using weird ones that I find from looking through the random generation thing. Here we go, I've found one I like, the Errant Whale. We are going to be the Errant Whale Tavern, where adventurers from far and wide will come to drink and go on adventures. So here we go, a bit of story. Basically, there was a horrible open gate and Netherkin invaded and trampled places and destroyed things. And it was all very unpleasant. I think we, we can all agree. This was some time in the past. So here we go. It is a little bit in the past, apparently, and these four Ravengers are going to be having a little chat. Huh? So we've got, well, they are the four Ravengers. Only two of them are actually Ravengers, uh, and they're all quite high-level creatures, people. I don't know what they quite are. One of them looks like he's wearing, or she's wearing a VR goggles. I think she's some kind of pig helmet. Huh? Um, huh? Okay, so there's some, what is it, letter... I'm just going to get through the story here. They need to go. They've got to go and close the flaming gate. This was in the past. And uh, we get to play through their adventure, closing the gate. Once the adventure is complete, we get to handle our own tavern and start our own adventurers adventuring. So we need to assign them all to the party. Um, is there any equipment I can give them? I don't think so. I don't have any other stuff for them to do except to tell them to crack on and to go forth and uh, we'll see how we go wow it's gonna cost us a bit that's okay so this is how the adventure part works we get to read a little story and click uh so most of the game's actually in the end mode which we'll get to pretty soon so they continue outwards yes yeah, so they look around oh yes there's damage everywhere and the we have to go to the gate and you know fight the bad things and there's some combat up ahead. Uh, they continue rushing towards us. We must fight some of them. And success! Ray. Oh, so Merrick reanimated the stack of dead and commands them to attack the other dead. Oh, that's very good. Helpful. We've made it to the portal. It's time to go inside. Uh, what are we going to do? Survival roll? Uh, it's a narrow ledge we've got to walk along. Oh, we fell off. Uh, someone got wounded. That's a bit of a shame. But that's Never mind, we'll carry on into the nether portal it's a one-way trip that should give you a clue as to what's going to happen to these poor adventurers you think weapons can destroy us no we'll never something i don't know what's happening let's have a look uh like lycaceous drug shrugs guess we'll never know because that's not our plan she stomps one of her boots of quaking to the ground starting a massive earthquake that brings a mountain down on top of them no oh, they all died what a shame Hooray, they sealed the gate, which leaves us uh, nicely in the present with our nice little tavern. This is the story of the Errant Whale. It is Monday in week one. Okay, so let's have a look around our bar. We have one person in it, and uh, I think we do get to grow it into course, but for now we don't. So we have action points to spend each day, and a Grandest and Grim is going to tell us something. Uh, might have a bit of target practice, old-fashioned way. Okay, so there's some stomp. Um, okay, cool. So we've got to go do something to stomp some rats, I think it is. And I should... I don't know, anything else? Nope, nothing else. That's fine. So, click here. Welcome this person. Hello, who are you? You are a level one barbarian. Grunson's the name. Excellent. We're going to hire you. You're going to be very useful. And we have another new patron as well. Maybe maybe later. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, so what do we got here? Hearty welcome is always the first step towards a long and prosperous friendship. Cool. We'll hire this one as well. A fire mage. That sounds handy. And what else can we do for them? Can't do anything else right now. We're going to have to send them out on the quest. So, Grunson and Murgle. And I do actually have equipment to assign in 
theory, which I can't seem to do right now. So they have a 95% chance of success anyway. And as you can see, I've got the kind of the feel for how combat-y or thinky or trap survival-y or talky the quest is going to be. And I can see that we have uh, people who are reasonably rounded. So I think we can crack on and go do a quest. Gonna go get some rats out of a cellar, says Mergle. Uh, 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 rubbing the hands together. Here we go, let's roll some dice right near our nice little tavern. That wasn't very hard. Ah, and we stomped the hell out of the rats. Wonderful. Very good. Well done, us. As we return, there are some hoodlums. Hassling rat kebab vendor. I'm worried from the road, not the mood for kids. The punks scatter. Get a free snack. Very nice. Epic stomp. So we did. We can give them money or not. I'm inclined just to leave them happy with a split of the money. Got some reputation. And we go back to our tavern. Cool. So that was day one. We don't, we have one piece of equipment which we got off the starting quest. You can get more and I didn't get any, which is a bit disappointing. So that's just gonna have to do. I don't think we'll need any other stuff right now. Can't have any upgrades yet. We've got goods and lodging. Uh, I might buy some more porridge and some more soda since everyone seems to like it. Oh, yak kebabs. How much money have we got? That's quite a lot, but that's okay. Uh, and nothing else available. So I think we shall just leave it at that for now. Lots of people to talk to though. So let's talk to the... Tell me more, Fire Mage. Oh, there's some other quest. Uh, House of... Wine is running low. There's a famous wine shop. No one ever can find it. It appears in one spot and we're going to be lucky to hopefully find it. And we'll get an oversized gavel. That sounds very nice. Anything else? And we do level up and get their story, which uh, gives us um, secrets, I guess. I don't know. We'll listen to this one. Killing those rats to feel ready to take on the world. Or at least larger groups of rats. Let's have a reminisce. I have something to say. We'll listen. Despite what the nosy good doer do good I I perfectly respectable by mage standards. Well, that's nice. Did I leave my shoes here? I don't know. Can I give you some uh, expensive yak kebabs? Yes, I can. Give it a shot. Goodbye. So here we go. We got another new patron here, Charles. Um, this place is pretty okay. A bard. Wonderful. Anything else? Well, we can get you a soda water and some orcish person. A cleric. I heard about the errant whales for my first time. You're a Marzug. Glass of house wine. No problem. Hmm? And we can't hire anyone else. You're thinking the other day after killing those rats, I feel ready to take on the world. Let's have a bit of a listen to the story. You're from the Badlands. All right, I'm going to give you some expensive rat kebabs. Good. Welcome. Best damn scout in the room, probably. Well, says you. Give you some stale bread. Another one. Oh, we're level two. Nice. Uh, Sapper can get a tall ale, a bit of adventure. Stale bread. Oh, well, no problem. And some orc, rough year. And my name, your name's Yagak, a night stalker. Very nice. Glass of house wine. Almost running out of time. I want to save a couple. Get a, Got to start somewhere. You're an orcish priest. Anything else? Uh, do I want to spend that? Why not? Just going to welcome this one. And someone up here was quite keen on working for us. Let me have a look. No, I don't want to offer you anything just yet. No, come on. I want someone to join them on their quest for the... Nah, okay. We're just going to welcome. Oh, hire this one. What are you? A human defender. Swords and survival skills. Yes, let's hire you. And you do switch out your characters quite often. So that's kind of cool. Yes, we'll sell them some kebabs. Okay, so now we go to the tavern management. So as you can see here, actually this is really good. They're really good at combat, this uh, Sherry person. And Murgle has the brains and combat down. And you've got brains and survival down, Grunson. What are you getting? A barbarian. Very nice to know. Equipment. Whoop, come back. Wand of Dancing Flames. Um, it's going to go to... The Fire Mage, which makes a lot of sense, right? And now look at their Burning Hands skill, and that generally increases their combat skill, I believe. And a Blade is on Sherry. No, we want that to be the same. 
So I think it's straight back into this quest, this mighty, mighty quest. We must find the ominous wine shop. Could do with another sort of, like a diplomat or a politician. You get them as characters for these kind of low level early quests. Not so much fighting and more talking. Keep going chaps, hurry, hurry, hurry up. Ambushed by a, a pack of rabbikin. The rabid rabbikin. We've got a good combat person here for survival. Murgle waits for a chance to act. Why are you waiting? Confusing Rebekin. Okay. Fine. That gets us some gold, I suppose. Uh, quest objective. We pulled out the map. Uh, let's try and find it. Yes, we did. We found a butcher shop. And there's the magic wine shop. Very good. And um, we'll go home and... Uh, the winds of fate are below with the party. Okay. Local farmer asks for help. He needs to transport some wolves and sheep across a small river with only one barge. Do I look like I'm wearing a top hat? Right. It's one of the wolf sheep puzzles. We figured it out though. So that's okay. Why is transporting a wolves and sheep across a river? That is a very good question game. Never mind. Let's make it back to the inn. Um, we could get the monsters to come here to the errant whale. That's a good idea. So they have succeeded. The wine merchant sold some wine at a discounted price. We got some money and we got the oversized gavel, which I don't think any of those current characters can use, but we'll see. How are we looking for stocks, uh, goods and lodgings? Need some more stale bread. Uh, we'll just top up a little bit. That looks to be about right. We'll finish that off. So what have we got here? What quest are we going to have today, Dororum Stabvist? Um, so someone is... We get some rep and some gold. Turns out the rat. Okay, sounds like a political type discussion. Welcome. You're an assassin. All right, I'm going to leave you alone for now. Glass of house wine for you, of course. And a dwarven question mark. What are you? You are a dwarven... What's a land pirate? I feel we must hire you. We must become friends and give you chicken wings and stuff. Nothing else? Uh, offer a drink, perhaps? What's our most expensive drink? How about some house wine? Seems to be... We don't know what the other ones do. Interesting. I need to offer you some more delicious food. Chicken wings? Mmm. Oh, we have to fire someone else. That could be good. Are they drunk right now? I can't tell. The thing scrolled off the edge of the screen. So let me have a look at my party. What could I afford to drop? I actually think I will drop Sherry because we've got a nice rounded that one. Uh, actually back to roster. No, I actually want to drop you. Where are you, Sherry? I think I need to click on you and fire you because I want the land pirate. Uh, Sherry, Sherry, you're in the bar here somewhere, aren't you? Roster. Oh, here we go. So, Sherry, uh, we're going to just dismiss you for now. Goodbye. Right, we've found the land pirate, and so he, they are now in our roster. What else do we have? There's some uh, questionable human here. What do, you, what do you do? You're just a human question mark. All right, well, we'll give you some house wine, eh? Uh, a human thief. Fine. Uh, you're happy. We're happy with this one. You want some mead. Fine. That's okay. Now listen to you tell a story. Teleporting wine merchant. Weird. That is true. Let's reminisce over a drink. I got a second. Yes. You've been a skilled tracker. Nothing like the thrill of the hunt. Uh, can I offer you a drink perhaps? Some house wine. And what else have we got to talk to? Tell us, Duggeron. What were you saying? You never forget your kills. Ah, uh, memories, am I right? Okay, that's fine. Uh, all heads have to go through the guild. Don't want to do any more of that. I want to give them some kebabs. And you're looking for a bed, so we'll, we'll pop you in. He doesn't suit you? What are you saying? Are you demanding better quality beds? Perhaps you'll stay elsewhere? That's terrible. You should... Okay, so we'll welcome this one. Hello there. How are you today, Catris? Dwarven Paladin. And we don't know what you are, but if we give you a drink, you might tell us. A Dwarven Diplomat. Oh, that could be very handy. Okay, anything else? How about a meal? We'll give you whatever it was that was. Wonderful. And Artubu, you you want a bed? You sure? 
No one seems to want our beds. Okay, fire mage, you want to talk to us? Working has been interesting. Teleporting wine merchant was... Okay, that's fine. Talk, yes, back of the old... Anything else? Kebabs. All right. Got you some kebabs. Liquored them up. They're all ready to go. So let's add these people to the party. So it looks like we are pretty strong at the talking and the thinking. Very strong fighting. Not so good at survival, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. So this is a talking mostly kind of quest. So if we'd taken a diplomat, it would be a touch better. But they reckon 95% chance of success. So let's go. Let's go and help this poor, poor uh, merchant being harassed for selling rats. Nothing wrong with a few rats. They're delicious. Party is ambushed by Rabbikin. That's okay. We're not... Oh, what? What? Got poisoned? No, that's no good. Nasty bite. Oh, what a shame. Keep going, minions. Uh, the, the caught in a net back. High off the ground. We're just walking through town. Managed to escape the net without damaging. They move the trap 50 yards down the path. Catch the hunter in his own trap. Ha ha! And take his gold by the looks of it. What is this poison going to do for us? It's not quite telling us. Coming soon, I think. Here's the objective. Frazzled Chef. And we roll. Yay! Strike up conversation. And they invite the chef to drop by for some grilled meat. Well, that's good, I suppose. <laughs> okay, let's go back home. Friendship Festival is in full swing. The party want to compete and prove they're the best friends. Time for a quiz. Hooray! Know your friends, ask a number of questions, likes and dislikes, and we got the prize. Oh, very fine and mediocre small quest. Okay, yes, we'll let them have some money. Yep, that's fine. Back to the tavern. A new day dawns, or is dawned, or dawning, or something. Uh, goods and... Uh, where are we? Uh, uh, but, but, no, equipment. Oh, no. Goods and lodging. So, how are we looking? Uh, we need to buy some more porridge. And maybe some kebabs. And these rooms are all vacant. So that's fine. Can't get any more equipment yet. We've got, we got a hammer with Gruntham. That's great. Oversized gavel with we don't have a portrait for some reason. Oh no, it's just unequipped right now. Would you like an oversized gavel? What for public speaking? <laughs> that's weird. Alright, so, uh, well, it could potentially be, no, I think, oh, actually, why not? Yeah, so now they're even more social. What is the, What are your social skills? You've got none? I don't know. We'll just leave it at that for now. Can't hurt. So what's going on today? Five patrons got a rumor. Tell me your rumor. Uh, rats are killed. The rats have been reanimated as zombie rats. I love it. And what else are you... Who are you? Hello there, Dulog. Uh, the errant whale. But you dig this place. Anything else? You seem worthy of my retention. Well, that's fine, Paladin. I wouldn't mind a healer. Can I get you... No, maybe later. Hmm, who else do we have to deal with here? Human thief. Welcome, Dukes. Maybe later for you, too. Night Stalker. We'll give you some mead. And this other Paladin. You're a real charmer, Catrice. Chicken wings. Okay. <laughs> and Grusilla. I can't remember getting home last night. How? I got here for today. Fine. Maybe you meet some friends of a barbecued rat. Oh, here we go. Dulog, you want to buy kebabs? Awesome. And you'd like a bed? The quality of the accommodations are excellent. Thank you very much. Get, get in there. And use soda water? No problem. Uh, can we offer you more booze? And you, can we offer you some delicious house wine? And are they all, they're all getting a bit drunk. Uh, can I offer you more house wine? And now you need a bed. And you? Oh, slowly making very small amounts of money here. Uh, how about a bit more house mead? And, oh, uh, what about you, orcish, whatever you are? Oh, soda water makes people, I don't know, happy? What does the mead do? Let's just fill them up with mead and find out. Who can tell? Um, offer drink mead. Well, we don't know what it does to this one. Or what? It, I guess it's different by person, right? That's cool. 
Sometimes life gets a bit predictable and dull. Oh, well, fair enough. Any more final tasks we can offer you? You want porridge? All right. And you would like... Oh, you don't like kebabs. You like porridge too. Fine. Time to go questing. Let's load up the crew. 80% chance of success. We've got to go to the tavern and look at some reanimated rats. We're very strong in combat, so I suspect this will be pretty easy. My mum says people who hang out in bars are mostly drunks and losers. Well, tell your mum to stuff a dragon egg up. Oh, yeah. Let's not be rude to the little boys. Red eyes glow in the darkness. Let's beat them up. Absolutely destroyed them. Still poisoned. That's a bit of a shame. So does that come some kind of negative impact? Doesn't seem to yet. Who would reanimate tavern rats? I don't know. Oh, we got back home. No problems at all. Easy peasy. And we'll split the cash. Okay, fine. Back to the tavern. I think we have time for one more quest. Yay, we got one more roster slot and a bit more money and goods and lodging. Oh, out of barbecued rat. Let's buy some of that. A bit more stale bread. And everything else seems okay. Good. So our roster is able to go up one, which is cool. Who's in the bar today? We got a quest bringer. Grisilla Marrow, Sucker, Orcish Barbarian. Small Farmer's Market. Perhaps they can shed some light on our rat problem. That's a good point. How about Taurus? Yes, we can get you some chicken wings. Catris, you want to talk? Keep an eye on the place. Used to be in the City Watch. Fine. What are you? A Dwarven Paladin. I'm actually not sure I want to hire you just yet. Let's have a look. Human Thief. Um, human Bard will buy you some stuff. What is a Bard going to be good for? Talking? Well, that makes sense. I'm just having a look at their stats here. Wow, you're pretty good. Whoa, 34 brains and talking. Ramsey, I'm kind of like, I kind of like you. Possibly because your name also reminds me of Ramsey Bolton from Game of Thrones. Offer room. That's fine. And I'm just going to see if we can get anyone else interesting. Uh, anything else? Get your soda water. That's fine. Get your house wine. Get you a house wine. Huh? Offer you a room. Huh? Ramsey, I want to... Oh, well. Huh? Can we just talk to you a little bit, Ramsey? How is the rest of our party? So, we are a little bit low on talking and... Br and not sexually survival is a bit of an issue for us. Mm, there's a few huh? options here. I'm just having a look. And do you want a bed now? Fine. So I'm just going to have a look through some of these stats to see who I might want to work on. So Ramsey, that's pretty amazing talking. And I'm not quite sure. Wow. Trap design. Um, there's just a lot of locks and traps. Just a lot of powers in there. We don't have anyone who's actually really good at survive. Well, a little bit. Orcish Barbarian. Hmm. I think we do need to keep the party fairly round, so we'll hire this Barbarian, that's fine. And uh, do some final actions before our final quest. Let's send everyone out. Oh, we've actually got some leveling up to do, which is fun, because you can level these dudes up. So we've got skill points, so... Uh, it normally lets you... Oh, here we go, there are pluses. So swords and axes, what are you, level 2 Barbarian? Do I have to... Have I got... Oh, oh! I could have done with more. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, so swords and axes. Yes, why not? Throwing weapon. Put a bit in there. Orc customs. We do need a little bit more brains, maybe. Uh, beast lore. Don't need mind. Sen sense danger. Fine. Toughness. We'll even it up. Pathfinding. Okay, that sounds good. That's one done. And uh, Murgle, where are you? Rest of you. So you are also leveled up. Cool, Fire Mage. We want Burning Hands up super high. Wow, that cost a lot. And Pyrotechnics, Engineer, <laughs> Sense Magic, um, Break Illusion. That sounds sensible. All right, let's go. 92% chance of success. It's only a talking job. We should be fine. All right, let's go and beat the rain on this small job to go to a farmer's market. These are truly epic quests. Party, a portal war, a being shifts in and out. Ugh, unthinkable paradoxes. That's no good. 
Priscilla, the ever quick study, absorbs enough of the being's language to debate its unknowable postulations, albeit in a rudimentary manner. Surprised and apparently impressed, the entity withdraws to its own dimension. Okay, I guess that's a good thing. That is good and slightly strange. A beehive sits in a tramp in a tree, dripping with honey, and we beat the beehive. Woohoo! We thrust the torch and smoke the bee, and fresh honeycomb accompanies the meal. Very good. No one seems poisoned anymore. Did I fire the poison person? I can't even remember. These people are just interchangeable minions to me. Approaching the farmer's market, must find the necromancers. Yes, let's talk to everyone. Oh goody, zombie rats of Vindy here recently had similar problems. She'd talk to a fortune teller. Go easy on her though, she's just trying to make, just trying to help in her own weird way. Okay, so I guess that's going to be tomorrow's quest. In a clearing, the heroes find a chalice sitting upon a carved altar. That sounds like a dangerous boulder thing. After walking three times around the altar, she spills the chalice onto her tunic. A low hum emanates from the tunic. It feels lighter and stronger. Ooh, she's protected from harm. Very nice. Grisilla, what, isn't paying attention? She didn't contribute at all? Well, that's fine, I suppose. Hasn't got any mind skills, perhaps? Uh, right, the whale is there. Wonderful. Okay, we found clues. And we got some money. And... Oh, where we go, Crun Crunthum Thurin is still poisoned. That's a shame. All right, back to the tavern. I think that's probably enough for episode one. If you'd like more Epic Tavern, then please do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, I'd love to have your subscription because I play interesting and fun games and I like having, uh, I like having people around like you. You, yes, exactly you. Anyway, until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. Look at the bar, it's humming now. Good night.